what's up you guys welcome back to my channel and as you can see i'm sitting in my bedroom but i just got out of the shower i washed my hair and this video is going to be a tutorial as to how i simply and very easily finally realized how to tame my curls to make them hydrated and to have them cute and tight and no frizz and not all over the place so i have a really good curl day now this video is sponsored by allocay naturals they sent over their honey and sage deep conditioner along with their essential 17 hair hair growth oil. Now I've been using this product for about a week and a half now and it is a deep conditioner. So typically deep conditioners are maybe once a week, but I have heavy um, dyed processed hair. So I've been using this every two days and let me tell you something, this week has changed my curls. Before I completely talk your ear off, let's jump into the tutorial. It's very simple. You're going to have to already have your hair washed and wet and then you're going to need some honey and sage deep conditioner by Alicane Naturals which you can find at CVS and then you're going to need a wet brush that looks something like this. Now typically for me because I am doing my best to stay committed to a healthy hair regimen I've been doing more than just using products like Alicane Naturals. I go in with my own DIY so before I'm using this I'm spraying my scalp with rosemary and let's talk about it. This honey and sage deep conditioner I paid attention to the ingredients. There is rosemary rosemary leaf extract in here but the main three ingredients is honey babassu oil I hope I said that right and sage now the honey is uh, binds the moisture into your hair the oil penetrates hair to diminish dryness and itchy scalp and then the sage is going to increase scalp circulation and skin renewal so I'm gonna go in with my scalp and spray this rosemary it smells so good that rosemary promotes hair growth and a happy healthy scalp and scalp care is so important for healthy hair and hair growth and I just spray all around so as you'll see here most of the product is gone I told you I've really been using this product it's really that good it has a water-based consistency so be very careful it can slip through your fingers and you don't want to waste this product It's so precious but the way that you're going to get really bouncy curls that are tight and tamed you want to make sure that you are fingering through all the product and distributing it everywhere. And I'll give you a technique. I typically like to start with just the surface of my curls. And in the past, that's where I would stop. I would put all the product on the surface and then keep it moving. But you'll see as I get the topical area, I'm then going to part my hair and go up under the top area of my curls. So once I've done this, I just gently use my fingers and distribute, and then I'm going to open up my hair, and you see all that? There's no product on that hair, so you're gonna go through and split your hair open and put the product on the inside of these beautiful curls, okay? And you're just gonna go around until you are completely finished with this process. So now that we have put the deep conditioner into our curls and we have made sure that it's gotten to every strand, we are now gonna follow up with the Essential 17 Hair Growth Oil. You wanna take the oil and just dip it through your hair, this applicator, makes the oil flow really easily so don't overdo it or you'll be dripping with oil everywhere. Now the importance of this oil right here is scalp health. In order for you to have healthy hair you have to have healthy scalp so anytime that you have shampooed your hair then condition it and then put in some deep conditioner you always want to follow up with the oil put it on your scalp massage it in and treat your scalp to what it needs all right so now we are moving into the very last step and this one right here blew me away this is the true technique to having tamed curls now that we've got our deep conditioner in by allocate naturals once again you guys can get it at cvs pharmacy we can take this wet brush and use it properly. Do you hear me? Properly. You don't use this brush this way. You use it this way because the bristles are going in this direction. Let me show you. When you comb downward, you've got more of a pool. When you do this way, you hear how it sounds like it's breaking off my hair? There's more friction and resistance. You're breaking your strands. Do straight down and go all the way through. Take your time with it. Get every area of your curls, go up under, hit the ends, 
and this is what's going to give you those perky bouncy tamed curls i never knew this and i'm so happy to know this now all right you guys here go the results it's been about 30 minutes and my curls are super bouncy they're tamed they're hydrated and they are going to stay just like this from simply using a wet brush in the appropriate manner and brushing my hair after putting in this deep conditioner. Now being that there's such good ingredients in this deep conditioner, I know you're wondering how long do you keep it in? I know that my hair is color treated and it's had some heat damage a little bit so I keep this in for 24 hours because the ingredients in this deep conditioner by Alicay Naturals is just too good for me to rinse out right away. So everyone just learn your hair know what it needs, but I'm doing 24 hours It leaves my hair super soft super shiny very bouncy and it keeps these curls Tamed along with my technique of this wet brush I want to give a big thank you to Alicay Naturals for putting me on to this amazing quality products line, Honey and Sage. These essential oils within this hair growth is giving my scalp life. And this deep conditioner, I, moving forward, I am an Alicay Naturals girl. And this is going to be my go-to deep conditioner. If you guys are interested in these products and you want to try them out, make sure you use any links in my description box and shop at CVS Pharmacy.